better. All right, anyone watching this on playback? I know there's not anyone in here live, but uh, anyone watching this on playback? I know a lot of people like to watch these back like live and list or ship to them. So it's kind of why I make these. Plus, can just kind of hang out and answer questions. So if you guys have any questions or anything, feel free to uh, let me know. Computer was running a little slow earlier, so I had to uh, just restart it. So it's still running slow, but it's gonna she's gonna get churning soon. Just gonna be shipping out today's order. We had a decent um, week or week. We had a decent two days of sales. I will show you guys in a second once I can get this pulled up so I can see the questions on my computer here. Just uh, let me know if you guys have any bit of questions or anything. Also gonna post this link on socials. Before we get started, computer's still lagging a little bit, but she's picking up. Come on, girl. Let's show you everything that sold while we are uh, waiting. I switched the camera. There we go. So we sold a decent bit of hats per usual. Um, sold some jerseys, some beanies, a hoodie. Crocs, Burlington cleats, shoes, more solar eclipse glasses, um, some polo undies. And then this is all flipping from zero. Flipping from zero actually kind of went nuts. Um, built up a decent bit of inventory for that so far. And then uh, I already shipped a few things before this. Let's see if I can. Okay, computer's running now. Let's go. Dang. Let's get shipping. First off, and I'll explain how I ship all these items too. Probably should take this off of my scale. That wouldn't be the worst idea. Let's uh, set that right there. There we go. Still not. There we go. All right, first off, we sold this Lakers hat. This is from the $10 hat sale, or $5 hat sale. This was like a year ago. Um, sold it for $8. It is a structured hat, so I will ship it in my Staples boxes, which they're back up on the Staples website. Last time I had it live, I uh, said I was going to link it, but then they were out of stock. They're these uh, 8 by 6 by 6 boxes on the Staples website. Fit hats perfectly, and they're under 8 ounces. That's what is beautiful about them. <laughs> window over here oh yeah big wholesale guy wholesale guy yo what's up the guy do I use UPS free shipping labels um I did and then like they only let you order like six thousand at a time um and then they kind of start to well, they, they don't let you order anymore, so they make you create a new account, which I did like three times, and then I was like, this is just annoying, so I just buy them on Amazon. We are here to hang. Let's go. Hang only, no tank. If I can get my freaking computer to work, it is still asleep. I need to take the computer home with me so it like stays warm. It's like cold out here and it just takes a little bit to fire up. Once she gets firing, she works, but can't even freaking load a shipping label right now. I bought it fine. I just got to download it. I want to swap these screens so I'm not looking so far to the left. I need a curved monitor so I can like curve it around to where the camera is. That would be clutch. Come on, eBay. This might be a longer stream than I intended since I uh, can't get my computer to bring the label up. Let 
might end up being a live what sold video since I literally can't print a shipping label. We will uh, try another browser. If I can get it to come up. Usually when I reset this thing, it's firing in about five minutes, but she is struggling today. Might be time for a new computer here soon. Thanks for tuning in, Kara and Ellie. Roger that as well. <laughs> Not much to watch so far, considering my computer being stupid. Just load the label. Well, we may, uh, <laughs> we may have to end this live early because I can't print a shipping label. Cannot print a shipping label. We've got all this to ship, and my computer is not, not wanting to work today. Uh-oh. See, once it loads one, it'll start going. It always just, come on. I only have a problem with this computer in, on the cold days. Probably shouldn't be leaving it out in the cold, but in the summer, she works great. Oh. We will wait. Ask your questions away since we have uh, nothing else to do till we can get this label to print. I wonder if I download it, if I'm gonna have to do that each time. That would be annoying, but we'll give it a shot. This person's not going to get their Lakers hat, though. Very bougie, I know. Too cheap to buy another computer. No, seriously, I hadn't, hadn't had problems with it till this winter. In your opinion, what's the best use of the eBay shipping supply credit? Um, the Definitely the um, sh shipping tape, even though it's absolute garbage and like the thinnest thing. Like it's one of the things you can get close to free. Um, and poly mailers are incredibly priced on there, like incredibly high. So like I wouldn't be wasting it on these because you can get them like four times cheaper on Amazon or gyro pack. Do you mark each order as shipped as soon as the order comes in or do you ship each one individually on your shipping days i ship them on the shipping days so that's what i'm doing right now hey the label came up let's go now it's just spinning once i click to print it's gonna be one of those days well at least i went live so i have something to do while i wait <laughs> Come on. Oh, joy. I'm just glad this didn't happen in Q4. <laughs> that would have uh would have been rough. Tape, bang, yep. Yeah, it's absolutely horrible tape, if I'm being honest. eBay, you need to step your game up for as much as you charge for tape. You gotta put like two, three strips on it. I swear when this prints, it's gonna print like two shipping labels too, because the computer is just bugging. <laughs> It's all good. I'm in no rush today. There's one. Wow, that only took like seven minutes. We are, we are moving today. One hat. Okay, let's see if she will fire a little. Okay, now the other one popped up. It might, might have just taken a while for the one. It's moving besides the labels like it went right to the next order. 
sing us a song in the meantime? Mary had a little lamb, little lamb. I don't know. What song do you want me to sing? How do you determine the seller through rate? The sell through rate? I've seen a couple of videos, but I'm still not exactly sure. So I have a video. Uh, I was going to grab my phone, but I'm videoing with it. Um, search it, eBay sell through rate, millennial profit. It'll pop up. Um, and I explain exactly on there. It's just comparing the amount of actives with the amount of um, sold and then dividing those two. Um, and I talk about in that video also which ones are right. I could do it right now, but I wouldn't do it justice because I give like examples on that. So it's all you need. This one's going far. Or I would poly mail it. So unstructured, I'll throw in polys, but this one's going to Cali, so... Got to go through a lot more sorting centers, so I'll throw it in a box. What the heck? I'm feeling generous today now that my printer is working. Or not printer, computer. If it is, we'll see if it prints this one. Campfire song. It's our C-A-M-P-F-I-R-E-S-O-N-G song. Hey. Hey, that one popped right up. We're rolling now. We are rolling. Angelic. Can't wait for people to get mad at me for throwing these boxes like they're not going to see 10 times worse on the way. I just, uh, I throw them to give them a little character. See if they can make it the journey. Uh, next we've got this USA women's jersey. This was at Dick's Warehouse sale. Extra 25% off or 40% off. It was 20, so it would have been like 15 tops. Um, sold it for 40 I got a lot of these mainly for when the Olympics hit. These things will fly. Got a couple of player ones too, but the blank ones are doing pretty well. Eight ounce. Four thirty one, not bad. That one's going to Virginia. Where do you get your shipping boxes from? So, I don't, the only boxes I buy are shoe boxes, which I get, I link down below. 16 by 10 by 6. I get those from either Staples or um, Amazon, whichever is cheapest at the time. And then these boxes for hats, which I get from Staples usually or wherever they're cheapest at the time. Those are 8 by 6 by 6. Um, other than that, I don't buy boxes. I have people that save boxes for me. So I have a box set up here with all my smaller ones. And then down here. So I save all my boxes I get in the mail as well. I've got all my bigger ones. So I've got literally any size box you need. Just save boxes. I had more over here. I guess I put them all over here. But just save boxes. Tell people you know what you do. Have them save your boxes. You can break them down like that. Store a ton and you'll have any size that you need. Um, I just only buy them for shoe boxes and for hats just because I sell so many of those. So it's just easier and helps me to be a little quicker with that. We're running now. We just have to get that first shipping label in. Actually, I would probably go like 50 by 50 by 50, like Paragraph does, like a pallet box for a hat, just and then probably fill it in with like some uh, fillers, some some of this, just to make sure that it gets there safe. Now you guys will see I don't pack like that. Most everything's in a poly. Little four ounce beanie. Oh yeah, UC Riverside. I got this like two or three years ago in a B-stock pallet. Um, they were like two or three dollars each for a bunch of small school Adidas beanies. Um, and those just sell anywhere between like 15 and 20 dollars. It's just good bread and butter items that just sell over time. 
honestly don't have that much left. I had like two tubs of these and I have probably like a half of a tub left. Of just a bunch of random schools. Any plans for the next podcast? No. Um, I want to do another one for sure. Um, I just... Nights aren't the best. That's why I've been doing these live packagings. Because I can just work and do it at the same time. But we'll do one probably in the next like three weeks. I got to talk to Austin. How much, best off How much best offer in auctions do you use for selling? Not much. No, I'm going to buy it now and set it at the trending price. On the stuff I sell, it's got it's got sold history of what items are selling for, so I don't see the reason to take any less to sell it maybe a little faster. I want top dollar for stuff. Next, we got this uh, Sweet Berry Larkin Reds jersey. This was $24 at one of my local, local uh, shops. Where was that? Yeah, it was an extra... They had it marked at $40, which is what I'm taking it off at. But it was an extra 40% off that day. It's like a local sporting goods store. So they paid $65. So it says $40. Well, I didn't pay that. I paid like $24. But we don't let them see the $40 either. Going to Kentucky, which Kentucky loves their Reds. Okay, it's a little 12 ounce rate, ground advantage. Don't sleep on the scented trash bags. True, the uh, pumpkin spice trash bags in like Halloween season, those sell like crazy. It's so funny. Have you sold any of the going, going, gone Alex Morgan jerseys? If so, what price point? Can't seem to get an impression. Yeah, so I sold a bunch of those like right off the bat at like forty five a piece. I think they're tanked down to like thirty five, but I'm kind of just holding strong for the Olympics. When the Olympics hit, it's money. That type of stuff, I'm in it for the long game. People tank it short term to try to make quick sales. I'll hold on and make the top dollar. I sold like three or four of them though right away. I had mainly had blank ones though. Oh, send them in pumpkin spice. I like that. Give it a little character. Uh, would you say your Discord is still helpful for sellers not located in your state? Yeah, of course. If you're located anywhere in the U.S., it's good. It's not just for Ohio. <laughs> it's... I mean, it's mainly online leads. It's not even really much in-store stuff anymore. So if you're located in the U.S., anything can get shipped to your house. It's not good for people outside the U.S. because I've had a lot of Canada people that want to join, but we don't have Canada leads. Next, we have this uh, blank new air hat, which hopefully I can go get another load of these soon. Um, just haven't really had time for that. Time has not been my friend recently. Yeah, I don't have time for Bread and Butter International. You can head that up, Recon. Uh, what do you price good quality clearance items based on Amazon BSR for on eBay? For instance, Under Armour MSRP sources 75% off. So it depends on that specific item. You look up for shoes, for those shoes that you're talking about, you look up that style code and you can find the exact shoes that are selling and price on there i explained that in my sell-through rate video that i just recommend to someone else look up ebay sell-through rate um millennial profit and it'll pop up and i explain how to price items in that so you're just comparing the actives on ebay and that exact item with the solds and you come up with a price a trending price off of that
Any advice for someone literally just starting out on eBay doing retail arbitrage? I don't have very many thrift store options that are good, but I do have Ross, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Bill's Outlet. Yeah, so if that's really all you have, I'd also look for liquidation stores if you have them. So look on Facebook and Google for like those bin stores or liquidation stores. That's a good way to build inventory fast. But those other stores aren't bad either. Um, I would just try to source high sell through items because um, a lot of the times those types of items can tank because they go to every TJ Maxx across the U.S. Not everything, but a lot of things like that. So really just try to source those higher seller selling through items. Um, so that you're not stuck holding the bag on a lot of that stuff because um, retail can just be risky with the amount of competition that you can have in it. Um, so that would be that would be my advice. USA. Yeah, we're all over the USA. Favorite Bible verse? I got it right here. Matthew 28, 20. Um, it basically just says that God is with you no matter what. And... Um, it's it depends on the version you read but i have on it also i am with you always um so he's with you always through the end of times is i believe the exact words um just helps me remember even when i'm going through tough times or something's going on i can just look down and be like yeah he's got me no matter what jesus is always going to be with you so give your life to him and it's amazing what he will do with it and what plans he has for you Ethereum target price. Honestly, I'm just holding Ethereum for like the next 20 to 30 years. Like Ethereum and Bitcoin I've been in since like 2019 and or 2018, whatever it is. It's a it's a little like retirement thing for me. I've got a ton in there. How do you press shift on Depop? I don't know. I don't do Depop. What's next? Got a lot of flipping from zero stuff, but I'm not going to do that because I still have to film that. It's going to be the last clip of the next episode for everything that sold. Uh, we got this Astros hat. Shout out Delco for these. Um, I think I got 36 plus ship for that. All these hats no one has, I will do plus ship on because nobody has it. So there's literally no competition. <laughs> I got the right size on that. Seven three eights. Yep. When you use a sold filter, what criteria do you use to show how often it sells? Two in a month, five in a month, ten. I go by the 90 days. I explained in that video, that sell-through rate video. I go by 90 days. I'm not, if you're used to Amazon, you're going to have to get used to things sitting on eBay. eBay is not a get-rich-quick game. It's not a place where you list stuff and it sells right away. Like, you have to have inventory and it takes a while to sell. I'll give some examples on how long I've had stuff. Okay, this first thing's not a good thing because I've had it for about a month and I've, I've still got about 10 of these. I sell like one or two a month. This I've had for about three months. This I've had for about a year. This I've had for about two months. This I've had for about four months. These I've had since last baseball season. These I've had for about eight months. This I've had for about a year. That I just picked up. This I've had for over a year. These I just picked up. These I've had for a couple months, a uh, year and a half, year, couple months. Just picked up, just picked up. See, the flipping from zero stuff, I all just picked up. But a lot of that stuff and a lot of this stuff may not sell for a year, but it's great inventory. And that's the game. That, that's really the game of eBay, unless you're buying extremely high sell-through items. But those are very risky as the prices are just going all over the place. So I like that bread and butter stuff that just takes a little bit to sell. Next, we sold these that were from Isaiah and bread and butter. These were 25 a pair. 
I got 70 for those. Yeah, dude, you gotta get a tape done. It's time. Yeah, go for the old three incher actually. This is the this is the best one. No, it's an eight, it's an eight by six by six, not seven by six by six. Or seven by yeah, it's eight. Where is it? That's a different size one. Eight by six by six. I'll show you right now. Let's throw this guy in. Oh, yeah. Now it's ready to go when that sells on Amazon. Three pound rate. Eight bucks. In your opinion, is it better to start on eBay to learn before? Yes, 100%. 100%. Amazon's another beast. And you can go freaking bankrupt really fast on there, even if you do know what you're doing. Um, I personally don't even really sell much on Amazon. I sell maybe 30000 a year. I just cross these things that I have multiples of from eBay. I do not specifically source for Amazon. I'm all, I'm all, you know, all in on eBay. This browser's working, so we're going to swap to my other account on it. Not even try to get the other one going since this one's firing now. Next, we've got some stuff curry. And crap, I'm out of my big poly mailers. I meant to bring more out because I have more. Wait, I think I have a box. Possibly. No, this is not going to be big enough. Is it? gonna just leave these for after because I'm not gonna go all go all the way down and find the right box to later. So next we have this is from the five dollar hat sale Washington Nationals. Sold it for twenty five it's real close though, and it's unstructured. She's going in a bag. Bring on the eight. This was a pretty cool find. I don't even remember. This was like a TJ Maxx or a Marshalls or what it was. That still doesn't tell me. It's just got like a little sticker that says $10. So and we sold it for $40. What is that? Oh, 
there's a little like moss or not moss, what do you say it? Little fuzz thing on there. That's gonna be a two pound rate. And she's gonna go ground advantage for 614. We love the ground advantage. We love ground advantage. These are fun purple bag. I don't even remember where I got these. I swear, it's always the $15 hats that they, like, complain on. And then you'll send, like, a $25 one and nothing. But, no, I've rarely had many. And I'm always like, oh, is it, is it damaged? No, it's fine. I just wish you didn't send in a poly. I'm like, Dick Sporting Goods sends you flat bills and polys. I'm not doing that. Hello. Hello, uh, hey oh holly Thanks for stopping in. This may be a dumb question. If my friend wanted to buy one of my listings on eBay, would it be difficult for him to find my specific listing among the many? I mean, it depends how you list it. Like, the better you list it, the better it's going to rank. Um, but you could just send him a listing to it. <laughs> I do have cooties. You have to pay shipping if you it requires you to take a return. I believe I heard you say you do not accept returns in a previous video. Yeah, so if they do open it for a reason, which usually if I have to take a return, it's my fault. So yeah, I pay shipping. But I had 10 returns. I just did all that in my for my taxes. And I had 10 returns last year on over 7,000 transactions. So definitely worth it to uh, not have returns on it. And I'd say probably eight of those were my fault and two of them were the buyer finessing me. So whatever, but better than probably having hundreds of them if I had them turned on. Oh, we just sold a Hello Kitty hoodie. When the heck did I buy that? We'll hit that at the end as well. <laughs> That's so random. <laughs> uh, next, we sold some Polo Endies. Someone bought two packs, $32.99 each, um, and those were $10 each. Those are two pounds. Probably end up sending those in a box just because it's not going to raise the price anymore. And it's going out west. And I get these boxes really easy. <laughs> Perfectly fit. I'm gonna get my hand out of it. Oh. Beautiful. I hate this tape. I don't know where my good one went. There it is. Ship your next item, and it keeps taking me to that Hello Kitty hoodie that I just sold. I don't want that. Yeah, people ship their flat things. That's funny. All right, next we got these solar eclipse glasses again from one of my suppliers that has literally endless amounts of these. And the next one is in April. Actually, 
actually had a member in the group reach out to me that um, they, knew, they were having a party for these, so they knew where to order them, so appreciate the purchase. Where do you buy your hat boxes? Staples. 8x6x6 by six by six online. They go in and out of stock, though, so just look for them. Staples and then also eBay and Amazon, just whoever has them cheapest. If I can get them under 40 cents a box, it's a steal. I should box these. Looky there. Wouldn't you know we have the perfect size box right there. They're already over a pound, so the box isn't going to add anything. I don't want these to get broken, so we are definitely going to box those. And there's a UPS box, so we're just going to tape over that. And we don't have to worry about it. We got six pound rate. That was coming, so I had another one ready to go. Wow, I'm stupid. Just try to put it on with the other one on. my first sale um how should i schedule when i get paid or is it all preference right now i have it set to daily yeah it's all preference i just do weekly because that way it's easier to track um you can definitely do daily at first though usually though on ebay they're gonna hold your funds for like 21 days um at first until you prove until you prove you're a reputable seller and just deliver a bunch of stuff basically Next, we have these platform Crocs from Finish Line for 15. Sold them for 43. Those are going to be two pound rate. Yeah, and congrats on your first sale. Hopefully it's the first of many. Oh, I love this. This is the Tape King tape gun. I think I linked it down below. Thing is, thing is nice. All it takes one swipe with that guy too, being the three inch. I only just use the eBay tape on like hats, just because it'll hold those boxes. But I'm not trying to put five strips on like bigger items of that crappy eBay tape. Crocs, good to go. How often do you adjust your listing price on an item that is not selling at what percent adjustment? So each day I go through about 10 stale listings on each of my two accounts. So listings that have been up over like three months, three, four months. Um, and then I'll either pull it down and sell similar or I'll adjust the price if the price needs to be adjusted. A lot of the stuff I sell though, like the prices aren't really going to change that much. So I set it and forget it. And if it doesn't sell in three, four months, then I'll pull it down and sell similar on it. But it's definitely a long-term game. Like, especially with hats, like I'm not doing that every three, four months. Like some hats are going to take two years to sell. That's just what it is. So if, if you can't hold on to something for two years, don't definitely don't get into hats. Hats are very long-term. Um, okay, we're going to go priority on those because priority boxes are free. It's about 
40 cents cheaper or 40 cents cheaper to go round of vantage but we'll take the free box on the cleats how many sales do you average a day how many items in your ebay store so i have two ebay, eBay stores i average between 15 and 35 sales a day on each of them um Obviously, depends on the time of year. Right now, it's closer to like 15, 20. Uh, quarter four, it's honestly probably higher than 35. It's probably like 40, 50. Um, but I have right now 2,300 listings between the two. And I'm trying to uh, scale to 25 and hold it there. It's really hard because stuff just keeps selling. But uh, if we can get to 2,500 and then hopefully maintain that that would be fantastic i've got enough i've got enough stuff in my death pile to get to about three thousand listings but again i just got to find time to list it <laughs> love the flipping from zero series is my favorite probably watch all the episodes once a week watching appreciate it um finishing up the next one right now but it'll be up in like three weeks so it's take a long time to edit <laughs> Um, I think I showed it at the beginning. I have tons of stuff from it. So I got all this going out. I actually just picked up a bunch of cleats in it recently. So we have another big one. Oh, these are but all that's going out today from it. So that'll be capping episode 11, I think. And we'll start episode 12. How much do you list today? I list between 10 and 25 items a day. And a lot of those are multiple listings. They're not individual items. Obviously, the flipping from zero stuff is individual, but probably half of those each day are like multiple listings. So they'll sell multiple times. This I got from Dick's Warehouse sale and they had their extra 75% off. So it was 75% off of $15 and I'm getting uh, 24 for those. Baseball season is upon us, so the baseball seat, baseball hats are starting to move. Another Delco special, the uh, Pels hat. Sent me some fire hats. If I was a platinum guy, I would definitely kept some of those. Five listings it is the plan next we sold these I think Attaboy called these out these were an Amazon sale $25 nothing big but it's my last pair I sold two other ones they go for 55 yeah nothing big but you know you're gonna they're gonna sell you gonna make a little bit And it's a brick, so I'm just putting it in the poly mailer. Nobody cares about the box on some $50 new balances. <laughs> so don't spend on the box. Just put it in a poly mailer that costs like two cents. And we got the two pound rate, which is even nicer. Ground advantage, seven bucks. Cha -ching. I know, right? 
I wish they let you order more than... I think they only let you order three on the account, if I remember correctly. It was several months ago, but... I had two... I then added two accounts later, so I was able to... When that happens in the future, order double that much, but... It's kind of annoying. Dolphin's hat. It's worth a bunch of those. I sent them all in polys. Not had one problem. <laughs> Sure, glad to. I wasn't able to get a second video edited this week, so I figured I should go live and answer some questions. We've got about three videos filmed. I just haven't had time to edit them, so we're just sitting in the chamber and try to get on that and schedule them out. Hopefully, I will definitely. I'm gonna try to keep doing one or two a month of these. I like it because I can work and have something to do at the same time these i just picked up at academy you'll see that video hopefully soon i edited it oh and we just sold a yankees camo hat um but these were five bucks selling them for 20 easy money with my green poly I love the beanies. Nice little four ounce ships. Easy. Place to shop for beginners. That's cut off. Beginner. Come on. Beginners and local. Uh, yeah, so I've talked about this in a bunch of my videos. Thrift shops are a great place to shop for beginners and bin stores. So just get on Facebook, get on Google and search liquidation bins near me or different things like that. Um, those are great places, just like I'm doing in my Flipping From Zero series and kind of showing examples of how to start up a business and build up that capital. Also selling things from around your house that you don't use anymore. That's how I started in that series. All right, we just got two more things to go out before I'm probably gonna end this just cause I gotta do the flipping from zero. So get your questions in while I ship my last two hats. that pirates hat i didn't show it. it's the one i delco asked about how to put it in the box it's the one i put in i sold that for 39 dollars that was 10 dollars recently on the on a call out i found a recon found i just called it out camo cook was nuts Can you do like a super long deep dive reselling tutorial like all the advice from these lives packed into one video? I pretty much have that. If you watch my eBay for beginners video and then I have an Amazon for beginners video, um, Mercari for beginners video, I'm re trying to remake all those from last year with more info in them. Can't beat the camo hats. Two hour long video? I don't, I can't talk for that long. That's my issue. If you see the it, the editing I have to do because I can't kick out a sentence in those like tutorial videos, if it was two hours, it would just be straight raw. I'm not editing that not long. Just sort of Yankees. This will be my last thing I pack up. That's a long time to talk. Sales to average per day between 15 and 35. All right, get your uh, final questions if you have any. I'm going to be capping the live after this Yankees hat. Any 
long-term goals? I mean, obviously, I want to be a millionaire. That would be great. Um, no, but um, got some plans in the works to hopefully have, like, a warehouse and a house, build my own, so I'm not having to, like, rent one like I am now. So that's kind of what I'm working towards. What should I have on a reselling tracking spreadsheet, like price of an item sold price of and profit so you want to just take out all of your costs so you need to take out your cost of goods sold the fees the platform takes the shipping that you pay um sometimes the 1099 even includes the taxes that they paid but even though ebay remits them like you just have to check that um check it on the what's it called ebay is it transactions you go to performance sales okay you can check it there to see your total number and then compare that with your 1099 so yeah you just take out anything that counts against your business i think that is all that is all so thank you guys for joining me on this live sorry it was kind of a shorter one um i just gotta get this flipping from zero stuff packed up and i would just do that right now but i haven't filmed everything that's sold on flipping from zero so it'd be kind of difficult to do that after it's all packaged up so thank you guys so much for joining in oh we got one more chat question how long does adding those so uh, those to a source sheet take you i'm confused I'm confused. Uh, drop that in the comments down below afterwards, and I will try my best to answer it. Source sheet. I'm still trying to figure out what that means, but <laughs> thank you guys for watching. There's money to be made everywhere. Let's go get it. Thank you.